Welcome back to another Jam Fet video. In this video, we'll be featuring 10 Jamaican broadcasters who have passed away. In 2022, Jamaica said goodbye to a legendary voice, Henry Stennett. Henry Stennett was famous for his morning and evening traffic reports. You will remember how he would talk about bumper to bumper traffic along Lady Musgrave Road in the mornings. Henry Stennett was also known as the Money Man as he hosted a number of giveaway programs such as Quenched Guess the Riddle and Grace Family Jackpot. Henry Stennett, gone but not forgotten. Another broadcaster who died in 2022 was Winston Babatunde Witta. Babatunde died at age 64 due to cirrhosis of the liver. Winston Witta hosted the call-in program Straight Talk on KLAS FM 89. Babatunde was often accused of being vulgar, but his style, including his anti-police stance, made him very popular amongst the listening masses. Murder a murder a murder a murder The police annihilated a man this morning who attempted to confiscate their weapon. Lie! Go to the newspapers, prisoner jumps to his death. My God, what else could he do, my Lord? Pandemonium broke out in the Montego Bay courthouse about 12.20 p.m. yesterday. After a prisoner on ganja charge jumped to his death, fallen a ruling by the judge that he remanded in custody. This man would have preferred to be dead than to be in custody of the state. Because by God, if him go back to prison, it is hell. Oh God Almighty, what is this? Jump to him dead. He might have preferred to take him life more than go back about that street. Veteran broadcaster Wilmot Perkins, Mutti, died in 2012 at age 80. Mutti Perkins was host of KLAS's Straight Talk, but also RJR's Hotline and JBC's Public Eye. Mutti spent years in broadcasting and was known for his no-nonsense character and his fight for equal rights and justice. His trademark laugh was used as a deadly weapon in his telephone conversations. Mr. Perkins, Herman almost killed Mr. E.O. Fields, he knows it. Herman almost killed you? Yes, Mr. Brenda, Tell e. me about Fields, that. knows it. How would she kill you? And that girl by it with Carl. She's a wicked girl, Mr. Perkins, she's the first one. That tell us that our mother won't work in Wobia. Mm -hmm. Our mother have a wall rope down there full of Wobia Isle. Yeah. Our mother have blood on the counter. Our mother have gang lights on the counter in a middle tier, Mr. Perkins. Yeah. After you, when you're not meet again, you it's saw it? not the first one to tell us that me in the tell that our mother work in Wobia. Uh -huh. you, you saw it? Yes, I have care me go to me, Mr. Perkins. She, you sh she show you the candle? Yes, Mr. Perkins. Where? Blood under the counter and the wall robe full of oil, Mr. Perkins. The wall robe? All different, the wall robe full of all different type of oil, Mr. Perkins. Where the wall robe was? In Herman House, Mr. Perkins. Me and Carly's friend, Mr. Perkins. You and Carly's friend? Yes, Mr. Perkins. Him and him and the man is mad at Mr. Perkins. He's mad at run him out every day, Mr. Perkins. Then how, didn't you tell us that your name was Carly? Mr. Perkins, what me get you understand that? You are calling? Mr. Perkins, uh, uh, hello. it's not calling them. You do a wire you think from nobody about other no, things, Mr. Perkins. No, but you told, when you called, you said that you were calling. Yes, Mr. Perkins, because I get to understand. So you, you, me, what you it, said it, was it, not, not true. them talking to you, Mr. Perkins. What you said was not true. You, you told a lie. Mr. Perkins, I have to tell a lie because I never tell a lie, Mr. Perkins. You don't want to hear so whenever, me, Mr. So whenever it suits you, you tell a lie. Mr. Perkins, I don't care what you want. I am you asking you. Me a I'm asking you. When it suits you, you tell lies. When what suits me? When it whatever suits you, you tell lies. When it suits you to tell a lie, you tell a lie. Because it suits me right now to tell a lie, Mr. So Perkins. So you tell a lie. Yes, Mr. Perkins. So for all we know, if they're alone, you want to hear things from me. All, hear nothing from me. For, for all we know, it may suit you to tell a lie that these people are working over you. Mr. Perkins, I'm, I'm sure. Hmm. 
I'm sure it's the only liar tell me that work is when I say that I'm Caroline, that's the only liar tell. But if we, if we know that you're somebody disposed to tell lies, how can we know when you that you're now telling Mr. the truth? Mr. Perkins, the whole entire Jamaica yeah. know that she's a wicked woman. In 2017, Jamaica said goodbye to another veteran broadcaster, Ian Boyne. Ian Boyne died at age 60 following a series of heart attacks. Ian Boyne hosted the popular program on a Sunday evening, Profile, from the 1980s and was also host of Religious Hard Talk on TVJ. Another broadcaster who died in 2022 was the veteran Leonie Forbes. Leonie Forbes died at age 85. She hosted the morning coffee program on JBC television and has also acted in a number of productions, including the Royal Palm Estate. Another popular broadcaster who passed away in 2006 was Neville Willoughby. Neville Willoughby hosted the Evening People show on RJR and also hosted the Cavity Fighters Club on a Saturday. Another firebrand radio talk show host, Antoinette Harton Cardenas, died in 2023. Antoinette Harton died at age 67 and was known for her hosting of the regular talk show, The Hotline on RJR. Antoinette Houghton was also a renowned attorney at law. Also dying in 2022 was the broadcaster François Saint-Just. François Saint-Just died age 60 and was known for his morning program on Fame FM. François also hosted the Schools Challenge Quiz program at times. In 2019, Jamaica said goodbye to Doreen Samuels. Doreen Samuels was the voice of RJR for many years, hosting their morning show program. Doreen Samuels was also the news anchor for Primetime News on TVJ. Samuels died at age 59 following a battle with cancer. And where Doreen Samuels is, Alan Magnus is not too far away. Alan Magnus was also the host of RGR's Good Morning Man show, and he died in 2024. Alan Magnus was 80 years old when he died. So these are the voices that guided us throughout our lives growing up in Jamaica, long before the era of smartphones and the internet. Let me know what you think about this video by leaving a comment in the comment section. And if there are other broadcasters who we have not added to our list, feel free to add them in the comment section. And in the meantime, remember to subscribe to Jamfit, celebrating the Jamaican culture, a yard and abroad.